Hello everyone, I am Sergey with a brief overview of the latest news from Ukraine. As you remember, yesterday Red Square in Moscow was attacked. There are a lot of discussions about how this could have happened. But in my opinion, it was definitely done by the Russian side. The only question is whether it was Russian partisans working against Putin regime or it was a special provocation to accuse Ukraine. For Ukraine, such a strike makes absolutely no sense, because if there was a plan to hit the center of Moscow, it would have been done on the military facilities or other facilities where Russian troops are concentrated. Therefore, it is very foolish to accuse the Ukrainian side of such a senseless attack. Ok, let's switch to the map and see the situation inside of Ukraine. But before we move on to the map, I would like to recommend you watch my film. This is the memories of the beginning of the war. Please write the comments what touched you the most. The previous night was noisy in Odessa and Kiev. These cities were attacked by drones. It was a small drone raid, but unfortunately several people were injured. Yesterday the city of Kherson also was affected. Kamikaze drones hit a regular hypermarket. In the vicinity there were absolutely no military facilities. Well, I really don't understand what is the reason to hitting hypermarkets in Ukrainian cities. It's very low to hit civilians. Russian media resources and military correspondents said that the Ukrainian counterattack started near the town of Orekhove. Russian military correspondent Gyrkin says that Ukraine has 300 tanks, 1,300 armored vehicles, 500 mortars and 50,000 Ukrainian troops in this direction. And while the Ukrainian side observes the silent regime, Russian war correspondents are getting more and more worried. Like the counterattack will begin in the next few days. Fires fighting continue in Bakhmut. Russian troops tried to cross the road 0504, but this attempt was unsuccessful, and they rolled back to their previous positions. This is the fresh video from a town that has been standing for over seven months. There is not a single intact building. The Russian military is mercilessly destroying the city. And yes, they are stuck in this city. They've been trying to take it for more than seven months. Well, the Bakhmut fortress continued to stand. Prigozhin again claimed a large shortage of shell in Bakhmut. He directly blames the Russian Ministry of Defense for the fact that Wagner stopped receiving the necessary amount of shells. But unfortunately, the Ukrainian military does not see any shortage and are subjected to constant mortar and artillery fire on their positions. Ok, that's all I have for you today. I will continue to monitor the situation in Ukraine. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to not miss next updates. Have a great day. Bye-bye.